meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, it's hard to believe looking at the weather we're seeing right now, but this weekend actually looks pretty nice. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. First, we take you to live Pinpoint Doppler 12, and notice we are starting to fill in with the showers again. The green representing the light to moderate rain showers, but any of these moderate rain showers could turn heavy very, very quickly. The atmosphere is very charged and moist, and that's the situation we'll be in overnight. Now, the stronger storm's still out over Connecticut, and we can actually slice these. We can pretend to be surgeons here in the Weather Center, and you can see that red shaft is up to the first line. That's about 20,000 feet in the atmosphere. When we see uh, storms like this, it usually means just heavy downpours. It's not a severe storm, but still, those downpours could create some ponding on the roadways, and some of these storms could slip through overnight. In terms of rainfall, anywhere from about an inch to a trace, you can see uh, Newport not picking up very much at all today. Now, Providence, it says 0.29 inches, but keep in mind that's an official reading from the airport in Warwick. Many areas around Providence, I think, picked up up to an inch of rain, and it came down very, very quickly. That's why we saw some of those issues with the street flooding. It's not raining that heavy for now in the city of Providence. You can see a few raindrops here and there on the camera lens. Temperature is 76 degrees. It is very muggy out there. Winds are out of the southeast at 6 miles an hour. 75 right now in Taunton, 73 New Bedford, Smithfield 72 degrees, and we are 72 in Westerly. So this stationary front acting like a roadway or a train track guiding the moisture right at us. The good news is this center of low pressure will actually suck away some of the moisture overnight. Here's its position at around midnight. So some of these showers will actually miss us. They'll hang out over the ocean, but we may get clipped by some downpours and thunderstorms. Hence, I'm going to leave those in the forecast off and on. It's not raining the whole night, but we could get some ponding on the roadways and those small streams, rivers will have to be watched. Now, in addition to the rain, we'll see some patchy fog developing. Some of that fog and a few showers are going to hang tough tomorrow, especially at the beaches for the early morning hours. But by 9 o'clock, we start to clear that out. 11 o'clock in the morning, up to 77 degrees. Now, here's your coastal forecast. Notice something interesting here. Normally, at the coast, or often at the coast, I should say. We kind of cool things off into the 70s by the early afternoon, but because those breezes coming in off of the land tomorrow, I think we hang in the 80s at the coast through around 3, 3.30. Then by 4 or 5, we start to drop those temperatures as a bit of a sea breeze takes over. Inland temperatures quite warm, 87 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The humidity, a bit of a factor tomorrow, but it's not oppressive. So south shore temperatures because of that land breeze into the 80s, then falling off into the upper 70s by the late afternoon. 87, you're high in Coventry. Inland, mid-80s, 85 for Burville, 87 in Johnston, and for eastern Massachusetts, mostly sunny by the afternoon. Now, during the morning, coastal Massachusetts may hang on to some showers and fog a bit longer than other locations, but everybody looks pretty good by the afternoon. On the water, visibility poor in the morning with fog. High tide, 329 in the afternoon, low tide, 811 in the morning. Seven-day future cast brings in another beauty on Sunday. The humidity is even lower on Sunday, so Sunday the most comfortable of the next two. Monday 86 as the humidity increases. Chance of some showers and storms on Tuesday. And then hanging on to the 80s from Wednesday into Friday. So all in all, it's a pretty nice looking weekend. You can uh, download our new iPhone app to track the weather. If you're out on the beach, maybe getting some sun, you can get weather updates right in the palm of your hand. Oh, that's so great. We're always connected. We are. All right. You and me, everybody else, you can always check on the weather. More coverage coming up tonight.